chapter 6, <clears throat> verse uh, uh, 11. It says, Therefore I am full of the fury of Yahweh. I am worried with holding in. So holding it in, man, you're just building up that fucking anger, man. Like you got some people that say in the world, man, I got some pressure built up, man. Sometimes you got to take it out either on a boxing bag, get into the scriptures, get your mind off of some things, pop a bitch, whatever the case may be. It says, I'm going to bring it back. Jeremiah 6 and 11. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am worried with holding in. I will. Because yeah, we, okay. we full of the fury of the Lord. Uh -huh. As you see in that moment, you know. We could, cause sometimes it's like every time I speak, you know what I'm saying. The most I put the spirit on me to get got there to go at Jake, man. Mm -hmm. You know, fuck the bullshit, man. I ain't beating around the bush, man. I'm going straight at you like a a goddamn bat out of hell, man. Yeah, man. You know, yeah, we we full of the fury of the Lord, man. You know that's why we be going so hard like that, man. You know, we tired of seeing these mainly women, man. Like that one bitch, the dyke bitch right there. She was smoking her blunt. Uh -huh. Happy as fuck, you know what I'm saying, bitch? Proud as fuck. Wanna go over there and punch that bitch in the face, man? You know? Uh huh. He said, he said, I am weary with holding in. Yeah, we weary with holding in, cause because we know the truth and we gotta hold it in, man. You know? Go over there and put that bitch in the figure four, man. Put that bitch to sleep real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? But but, but, but we gotta hold it in, man. You know? Just go see a bitch, bro. Walk up to a bitch like, oh, so we equal, bitch. Crack that bitch in the face there real quick. Right. Bitch fall down. I'm a woman. I thought we was equal, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Because we, go, we got to hold it in, man. We got to suppress our spirit when we come out here, man. To a certain extent, man. We yeah. want to. Hey, God, because they be, hey, Ricky, what's his name? Ricky, Ricky Gantz. Gantz, yeah. He was just over there talking shit, man. <laughs> you want to snap that nigga neck. Man. That's a prime example right there, right? Hey, get... What at the white boy? Yeah, we, yeah. Brother want to, hey, brother want to get corner sometime, man. Go over there and choke this nigga by his tie right quick, man. <laughs> Pull off in his floor, this floor. Really. Hold on to him. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, man. Yeah, you know, Jake gonna meditate too. We're gonna hold on to his ass too. Straight on the up, chair. Man. Straight up. Come on. Yeah, and let his ass go. Yeah, we were just speaking on that, man. Meditating terror, man. Uh -huh. Alright, yeah, that's all we do, man. You know what I'm saying? Esau, you other nations, man, be thinking of crazy shit. I said over there, man, sometimes I be thinking of some shit and I had to slow down, like maybe I'm doing well, too much. Because you know right. <laughs> that shit, hey, man, if that's the spirit, man, you want to just bring pain and anguish to y'all, man. Especially Ricky Gantz. I know you're going to watch this, man. I'm going to put you to death, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucking punk. Devil. Jake just made him pack up over there, yeah, there man. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. little, little son right there, man. And we was over there cutting Jake, man. We was over there cutting yeah. the Jake. Jake left us and went straight to him to get the blame to him. He just hey, packed up and left. Hey, that's how you know. Hey, Shalab, that's how you know two-thirds of Israel. Don't nobody want to deal with you niggas. Ricky, <laughs> hey, he came up to Ricky Gantz like, nigga, we got to talk facts, though. He did that shit for like 10, he did that shit for like 10 minutes. This nigga Ricky Gantz picked this shit up. Like, I can't deal with this nigga. Ah. I can't deal with Jake, man. Straight up. Real, real. He, he can't deal with the truth, man. That's, that's right. what it is. That's what it come down. That nigga can't deal with the truth. Jake said we got to talk facts, man. You talking all this bullshit, pulling, pulling, pulling sands out your ass, man. You can't, you can't, uh, uh, you, you can't, um, uh, uh, validate the, the claims that you fucking making, man. You know? Uh, and that's the spirit. I'm glad Jake did that shit, man. You know? I wish more Jakes would do that shit more often, man. Go up to that nigga and ask him some real questions. You know? Bring out, hey, tell him to bring out a scripture. Tell the nigga to break down a certain scripture, man. You know? Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> Pray the most. Hey, the most I put that spirit on Jake, man. But that's the spirit because I seen one video where it was one of his partners, Ricky Gantz partners, when they ain't had when when, when when Public Square was the old Public Square, when he didn't have all this new shit. The one Jake over there going in on that nigga, man. He was like, man, you you out here telling my people lies, man. You know, the nigga was only yeah, I know he wasn't in the truth because he wasn't saying the name of the father and son. He wasn't saying the proper names, man. But he was in the spirit, man, going in on this devil, man. He's like, ah, I know, I know, I know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the yeah, devil, he, yeah, the devil trying to justify himself. Why is he angry at me? Why is he? Because you teaching our people lies, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Jake was in the spirit on this nigga, man. Hey, that shit was funny, though, man. Once I raised up, that nigga was stupid. He was dealing with him first. The two-third nigga, he was just a 
dumbass nigga, man. And the most I said that stupid nigga to go perform the so-called learned man. He got up in his face, though. And he was, oh, he, was up in, he was up in his face like, talk facts. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're going to give us our space, man. And guess what? One thing, you ain't about to make the man of the Lord pack up and leave, man. Yeah, and he was all in the idiot of my face talking about, state facts, dude. Was a, you went, he went talking loud on that thing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hold on, brother. <laughs> talking like a bitch. God. When that happened to us, we turn up, man. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That, make your hard face like this is Jeremiah. That's the spirit. We brought that out early. This is Jeremiah uh, 6. I'm going to start back at 10, though. It says, To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahweh is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So bringing it way back to where we started out with that Job 22, 21 and 22, speaking about they had no delight in it, whether it be two thirds or whether it be Esau. They had no delight in the ways of the Lord because Esau is a lawless enemy and Jake want to be just like they lawless ass and don't like to follow instructions. And it says, verse 11, therefore I am full of the fury of Yahweh. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men mm -hmm. together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the age with him that is full of days. Yep. So old, young, whatever, he might even put the spirit on the two-thirds, like y'all said, to get up in, in Esau's face. Like, like get the fuck out of here with that bullshit you teaching, man. Because mm -hmm. you, 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 you teaching lies, man. Ain't yeah. no salvation with what you teach. Yeah, we ready to pull that fury out, though, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The fury of the Lord, man. The Lord said he gonna, hey, he gonna take vengeance upon him. He gonna use his people Israel, man. You know, so the elect, we we looking forward to that. Jake, they just gon' they just gon' think that they doing, you know, they think they doing whatever they wanna do when they start putting shit down and you know what I'm saying? They they Jake gonna be proud too and Jake gonna be proud as fuck when they start killing these cops and shit, when they start killing motherfuckers, Jake gonna be proud, man. The most high, he gonna have to confound their ass though. Uh-huh. So, uh, can I land back real quick? Nothing. Don't lose your topic. Um, the point I'm trying to, I'm about to say is like, look at the Ferguson shit too. You know, you got, you got, you got Ferguson shit going on. They like looting and rioting, but he gonna let them also unleash on their ass. Like you got the Edomite like that turned up on the video. They was talking about uh, if they running away, shoot at them. If they coming in the store with their children, shoot at them. You know what I'm saying? So Esau, he gonna put the spirit on their ass, and they gonna be loving that shit, man. You got it. Huh? Yeah, because Jake gonna be uh, turned up in that time, man. They gonna be proud as fuck. Hey, that's why the Lord gonna put that spirit on that motherfucker. Uh, that's why that's why the Lord gonna put the spirit on that motherfucker, man. You know, the Lord gonna put that spirit on on, on, on Esau, man, to get a hey, to get back on Jake, man. To put Jake ass back in there. Hey, he gonna wrangle his ass back up, man. All right, cause Jake gonna be getting out of control, man. They gonna think that they uh they got the power in their hand, then, man. When ultimately all they doing is fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, read that out. We about to close on that though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going with y'all. I'm going with y'all. This Revelation. Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And yeah, the yeah read that shit back, man. This is Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Yeah. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. Rejoice ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them. And ye that dwell in them, talking about, hey, man, rejoice ye motherfuckers that's living it up, man. They're doing good in this society. You're going to college, you're getting a degree. I go to Tri-C, all that shit. Oh, Akron State University, man. Hey, rejoice, man. Do what the fuck you want to, man. That's the type of spirit these people in anyway, man. Going to West 6 every goddamn weekend, man. All right? Rejoice, man. Live it up. Smoke blunts, man. Smoke weed. Smoke man. whatever, man. <laughs> Live it up. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Woe means death, man. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, man. All right? And the sea, man. All right? Because if you pay attention to the news, it's been a lot of, uh, like, death of, 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 of aquatic animals, man. Like fish and shit. Whales been beaching that beach whales. You know? Yeah. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. The devil, which is the so-called white man. 
He's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Coming down unto you having great wrath, man. All right? Why he doing that, huh? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So that's why the so-called white man gonna come out with martial law. He gonna put the National Guards out here through the streets of America, man. All right? He already got National Guards over there in Chicago, man. All right? That's just the beginning of his, of his, of his, of his goddamn Ponzi scheme. You know, to come down on the nation of Israel, man. He know that he have but a short time, man. All right? He know that his rulership is about to be over. He know that he about to stop oppressing the people on that sign right there, man. He not about to be, he not about to be having us uh, paying tribute no more. We not about to be in servitude unto him no more, man. All right? That's the time that we living in, man. You know? So with that, man, we want to give our glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation and blessing to the Akim pushing his word into the sincerity around the four corners of the earth, man. Hey, man, we gonna say death to America, man. Death, death to, to America. America. Shalom, man. Shalom. Shalom.